What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you a tweak called iKiwi. Now yesterday I showed you a keyboard tweak called XKey that allowed you to add an additional row to the top of your keyboard. Now that's what this tweak does, except you also have the ability to customize the keys on the top row. So XKey is going to be basically a cheaper alternative to iKiwi. Now there's also some other differences and I'll show you that in just a second. And let's go into iKiwi. And right up here at the top, you can customize your keys. This is going to be the top row of keys. And right down here is the Alt key. So if you hit Shift, you're going to be able to customize the top row of the Shift keys as well. Right down here, you have key height. So you can change the height of your keys. You can see that I actually have it set to the highest, which is 42. And it goes all the way down to 30. Now, I'm going to show you what it looks like with 42. I've already resprung my device and everything. So the keys are definitely larger than normal. And right here at around 37 is what normal keys look like. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like at the lowest point too, just so you guys can kind of get an idea as well. But let's go ahead and change up our customizing keys. So you can see right up here that my key one actually is a word. So you can put in words for shortcuts or you can put in letters, numbers, basically any keys that you want. But the cool thing is that you can add words. So I have this change to high there. So if we pull up the keyboard, you can see the first key on the top row is high. The second key is there. And then the third key is H and then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. So you can change these up. Let's just change this up to hello. If I could spell, well, I can't, whatever, that's fine. We'll change this to a P just to show you guys that it changes. And then down here for the alt keys, if we want to change those, you can see if we hit the shift key, we have the dollar sign, at sign, number, dollar sign. So let's just change the dollar sign to a five. And then we'll go back here. And we're going to change the key height, which I didn't actually mention. So let's open up the uh, keys. You can see the height of the keys is actually pretty large. And when I respring my device, you're going to see that it's actually going to get much, much smaller. All right, so let's go ahead and respring the device. All right, so now that we're resprung, if we pull down our keyboard here, you can see that we have high there and hello and a P. And then if we hit the shift key, you can see that we have a five right there. So it changed up the alternate keys as well. You'll also notice that the keys are much smaller than they were previously. And this is as small as they can get. You obviously can make them as large as they were previously as well. Now one thing to keep in mind about this is if you shift your keyboard, you change your keyboard, you're not going to have that top row. So if we do that again, you're still not going to have the top row on this keyboard either. So supposedly this is supposed to be coming in an update, but in X key you actually get a top row on all your keyboards rather than just the QWERTY keyboard. So this is a nice tweak that allows you to customize your keyboard. I definitely recommend it if you're looking for something like that. So let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. All right, guys. Until next time. Peace.